Welcome to Excel magic trick number 1342. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook file and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, our awesome online Excel teammate, Paul Musco at YouTube, just posted this awesome video here. And it's all about adding a column that contains errors. Hey, here's a bunch of numbers, and we need to add them. If we come over here and use the keyboard for the sum function, Alt equals, and then highlight this column, we would think that the sum function would be smart enough to avoid errors. Hey, sum function smart enough to avoid text, but when I hit Enter, it totally gets messed up with errors. Now, here's the trick that Pomusco showed, hey, we're just going to use the sum if function. And in the range, I'm going to put my numbers. Now, comma, the criteria tells us from these numbers, which ones do we actually want to pick out and add. Now, because the range that we're going to match the criteria against also includes the numbers, we don't have to use that sum range. So in criteria, here's the trick. In double quotes, you say, hey, please give me all the numbers greater than 0. And double quote. And that's it. When I hit Enter, boom, it totally adds the numbers and avoids the errors. Now, you might be tempted to use the sum ifs. For sum ifs, we'd have to enter the sum range, comma, then the criteria range, comma, then our criteria. That older sum if doesn't require us to enter two different range, one for sum and one for criteria. Now, what if, in fact, we had negative numbers? Say we had some sales, but we also had some refunds or credits. In this case, both of these formulas are saying greater than 0. Well, here's a function that was introduced in Excel 2010 or later, the aggregate function. And sure enough, the first argument, which is function number, lists a bunch of aggregate calculations. And sure enough, sum is number 9. So I can type a 9 comma. And then look at this, this amazing options argument allows us to pick amongst the options, and we want ignore errors, number 6, comma. And notice, there's two versions of this function. If you're doing an array formula, you use the top one. If you're just adding, notice the argument is an array. It's reference, reference, reference. So you simply highlight your numbers. And that formula works when we're trying to add greater than 0, or in our case, we have some negative numbers and our formula works perfectly. Now, if we do not have Excel 2010 or later, we would think maybe for a second that we could use sum ifs because sum ifs allows us to have multiple conditions or criteria. But sum ifs runs an AND logical test, and we need an OR logical test. No problem. This formula will work in any version. I just say, hey, give me all of those, comma, and in double quotes, greater than 0, and double quotes, close parentheses. And then I simply add a second sum if, comma, but in this case, I'm going to say less than 0 in double quotes. And that will do it, 97. Now, I kind of like this formula if I was in 2000 and 3 or earlier. However, we always have had an array formula version. If we use the sum function, and then in the number argument, we said if. And then for the logical test, we say is error. Now, is error will check for all errors. Is error will check for everything except for NA. So I'm going to use is error, highlight the entire column. Now, value is expecting a single cell. We gave it a whole range. So when I close parentheses and then click on logical test, I'm highlighting the whole is error. If I hit F9, you see it gives me an array of trues and falses. Those trues and falses will allow us to pick out just the numbers we want. But notice the false corresponds to the number. So Control-Z, if it comes out true, comma, then what do I want? Double quote, double quote. That's a zero length text string that some will know to ignore.
comma. Otherwise, the value, if false, those are our numbers. Now, close parentheses, close parentheses. Now, if we click right inside the sum and then click on number one, we've highlighted the entire if. Now I can hit the F9 key to evaluate it. And boom, we have removed the errors. Those text strings right there will be ignored by sum, and sum will add our numbers. Control Z. Now, this would be a silly formula to do when we have these other options. However, sometimes you have larger array formulas, and you want to ignore errors. And so this construction would work. Now, this is an array formula. And there's an array operation sitting in the logical test argument. This requires that we use the special keystroke Control Shift and Enter to enter the formula and have Excel calculated as an array formula. Now you got to look up to the formula bar and verify that those curly brackets were put in automatically by Excel. That's Excel telling you it understood that this was an array formula and calculated correctly. Now, again, that would be silly when we have these other versions. Now, I had never seen this before Pomusco's video. And it, it's totally awesome, even though I would use aggregate in this day and age. But it got me thinking, if we do greater than 0, we should be able to come down here and as an alternative formula, simply use sum if, highlight the range, comma. And remember, I would like to add the credits over here, the negative numbers also. So I'm simply going to say double quotes and use the syntax for not equal to 0, less than, greater than, 0. In double quotes, close parentheses, and Enter, it gives me an NA. I would think that it works, but I guess it doesn't. All right, that's a pretty amazing set of formulas for avoiding errors in a column. Thanks to Pomusco at YouTube for this awesome sum if greater than 0. We'll see you next video.